Good morning guys, Mark Fit checking in and in today's video I'm going to do a full day of eating. There's a lot of you requested this video on Instagram and I thought I would just show you my diet and you can download my full diet. So here we go, just below this video, you can just click on the link, download my full diet, just to follow along with the day. And uh, basically what I do is I eat seven meals. When I say seven meals, some of them are just snacks, you know, it's just small portion, you know. And there's a lot of you requested this video on Instagram and I thought I would just show you my diet and you can download my full diet. So. Here we go, just below this video, you can just click on the link, download my full diet, just to follow along with the day. And uh, basically what I do is I eat seven meals. When I say seven meals, some of them are just snacks, you know, it's just small portion, you know. And during the day I will eat 3,600 calories, to be exactly 3,592.7 calories, but uh, we'll round it up to uh, 3,600 calories. Today is kind of a busy day, so right now it is 9.15 a.m. and it's already recording before I should have uh, but I'm going to the gym in Montreal so it's about an hour away from here and what I will do is I will take my pre-workout meal right now so in the diet you see it's like meal number one meal number two meal number three you can always switch the orders depending on what you do um, of your day you know sometime I will skip my pre-workout meal if I don't have time to eat it because I like to have at least an hour um, to digest it before going to the gym and if I cannot do it what I uh, and I only have like let's say like 30 minutes I will just blend everything in the blender so my body assimilated faster because it's already broke down. Um, that's one of the tips that I do, or I will just do, uh, go to the gym, empty stomach. But for me, I perform better when I have it. So this is the typical meal that I will have before the gym to have the energy to perform. And also when I'm in a bulking phase. So when I want to add like muscle and I don't want to maintain because I would strip down a little bit of things uh, if I'm more in a cutting phase. So I'll probably get rid of the, the honey and uh, that will be probably it or even not the almond butter depending on the number of fat that I want to have uh, for the day. But that being said, I usually take one scoop of protein and 60 gram of oats, then I will have 20 gram of almond butter, and I will have 20 gram of uh, raw honey, it's organic honey as well, um, and one scoop of protein. And to top on top of everything, it's gonna be cinnamon. Why cinnamon? Just because it helps you have some carbs. That's it, and it also tastes good. Let's have a bit of fun till I downfall. My love, if you feel like I do right now, don't say you're on it's legit so good that I ate all of that in like two minutes. It's, it's crazy. It was just literally amazing. Um, I'm kind of in a rush right now because I'm going to Montreal. It's about an hour away from here. I'm going to shoot with Matthew. We shoot a new commercial for Civicor. Um, they just released a carbonated C4, so it's kind of an energy drink, so I'm shooting that today. I have three cans here to shoot. Um, they have four flavors, but today I'm going to shoot the blue, the green, and the orange one. And it tastes amazing, guys. Seriously, it's just, it's just an amazing product. I like it. That's what I've been shooting when I was in LA uh, two weeks ago with them. It was a huge commercial. It was really nice. I'm going to shoot that, and then I'm shooting uh, some new uh, rice products, so like this tank top. Uh, so there's a new collection. It's called the Fight Collection. So it's super, super light, super soft super stretch and the design is just amazing so there's a tank top t-shirt long sleeve there's new short as well that we want to shoot and there's a new peak hoodie sleeveless so a hoodie without the sleeve um so rice is doing that right now and yes yeah, so i'm going to shoot that at the gym and then come back here and work all day with matthew on like three different videos and that's pretty much the planning and at six i'm going to my mom's house um they just um moved in a new house they just decorated everything so it's the first time we'll see it so i'll bring you with me and it's a really nice house i'm really proud of my mom she deserved it and um yeah she just turned 50 and uh, she bought a sick house um, near the lake. So uh, basically the lake is in her backyard. So it's pretty, it's pretty dope. I'll show you that. So guys, right now I'm going to show you the C4 carbonated. Um, so I guess I'm the first ever athlete on YouTube to show it to you. This is it. Look at that. Look at, I don't know if you guys can see, but 
the bottle like just the texture of it is just amazing and like look at the color imagine like you you're like in a convenience store and you just see that you're just like what the hell is that c4 give me that i want to explode um so yeah pretty amazing i want to drink them so bad but i've been waiting all week uh because they sent me like those prototype i think like uh, last weekend there's a new shipment coming in but in the meantime just to shoot i only had like three bottles so i drank one i couldn't couldn't resist it today i'm going to drink one and i'm going to uh, do a couple of pictures um, to promote on social media and also a video to uh, promote the C4. It's gonna be lit. Also my goal with this video is to give you all my diet principle, the why I do things like that and, and the reason why. And there's a lot of like misinformation I feel out there, people do things differently. What I'm going to give you is everything that I do that I've, I have been able like to stay in shape, stay lean for over eight years that I'm doing that and travel like crazy, work at least 70, 80 hours a week. So there's no, you, you won't see me eat like fucking Pop-Tarts or chocolate or any type of like refined sugars like I see on YouTube. I don't believe in the thing like uh, carbs for carbs. For sure, your body will treat it the same way, but it doesn't do the same thing at a micro level. So you'll see me eat organic food, mostly real food, no, not processed food. Processed food that I will have, it's kind of like a minimal in my diet. It's I try to minimize it as much as possible. Um, yeah, I do drink things with sucralose, but I minimize it as well. Um, not because it's bad, because it, you need to drink a lot. And like a lot it's like impossible like to drink that much too so it's bad for your health uh, but I minimize just that so to be super transparent I'm sponsored by Silcor and Silcor doesn't do any multivitamins doesn't do some some products like that so uh, I can show you the brands that I take but it's not the brand uh, necessarily just take like a good multivitamin so I'm taking multivitamins um, in the morning I also take fish oil so omega-3 and um, yeah that's pretty much it that's what I take multivitamin fish oil um, some vitamin C if I don't go to the gym because it's been shown that your body produces antioxidant naturally and it's not good to take my uh, vitamin C right after your workout. I've been doing that for years, but now I'm not doing it anymore. So what I will do is I will balance my vitamin C. So let's say like right now I'm going to the gym. I don't want to have any antioxidant. I want my body to produce it naturally uh, to recover faster. And there's a bunch of things. I can link some articles below this video about that. But um, let's say multivitamins, I will have them like probably five hours after my workout. Or if I work out at night, I will have them in the morning. Vitamin C, I will have them like five hours after my workout. And if I work out at night, I will have them in the morning. Another supplement that I take is P6. It's just a natural testosterone booster. And I talked about it in my how to optimize your sleep video. So the link of this video will be below this video as well. Um, so if you want to optimize and hack your sleep and just sleep better, function better with less sleep, this is one of the things that I take to make sure that my natural uh, testosterone level is always optimal. Second thing that I take um, every morning, it's NO3. So this is something that will give you a pump at the gym, but I do take it for a mental thing as well. Because if you're more vascular, that means you bring more oxygen to your brain as well. So it's not just to your muscle, it's everywhere your body so I take three uh, pills of that um, every morning or right at, before the gym so that's pretty much it that's the thing when I go to the gym now I always have like three bags because I have the camera bag I have like the two clothing bags and like the run in and stuff so um, yeah it's a lot of stuff okay. Hi, Hi. oh no just arrived at the gym and uh, basically I want to sh um, share with you what I take like during my workout it's just 
alpha aminos are just pure BCA. And I will take two scoops, so I have 10 grams of BCAs during my training. And the goal of it is just to be more endurance and just prevent any muscle breakdown. So I always take BCAs when I do any physical activity, even if I go like to do like a yoga session or if I go for a run or when I used to, uh, to swim at school for tests and stuff like that. I was taking BCAs before, so uh, it's a must have. It's something that I feel really. I just feel I'm more endurance, and I don't. Um, yeah, I just don't like any energy during my training. And also, I'll have the the C4, so the pre-workout, but that I will open it in the gym because we need to record some shot for a commercial. But yeah, start sipping on that. So today is gonna be guns day, and in my new split, my arm. I'll tell you guys, I don't, I don't, I'm not really. They need improvement, you know. My bicep is not big enough. My tricep is okay, it's well defined, but I want to grow my bicep. So in my new split, I'm doing arm three times a week. So one of the day I'm doing back and bicep together. The other day I'm doing chest, shoulders, and tricep together. And then I have like an arm day, and this is the day that we do today. So it's arm only. So bicep and tricep. I start with five sets of easy barbell curl. I'm starting wide and I'm doing 20, 15, 10, 8 and 6 reps in super set with close grip, easy curl, 10 reps each set. Um, so yeah, each set I drop the number of reps so I will increase the weight and that's uh, that's the first exercise. Gonna be it. The workout today guys, if you do it, you're gonna suffer but you will do it. So it's time to, uh, to have fun and do some cinematic. Drink, think, deeply as I sink Finally, someplace I found peace In the dark of night, tabletops counting eyes in the early so This is the first uh, tricep exercise, it's a superset again Same principle, so we'll do low push down in superset with close grip press uh, with a straight bar We do 20 reps, 15 reps, 10 reps 8 reps and 6 reps, so it's 5 sets total and on the close grip press we'll do just 10 reps and that's the second exercise. I know it's a lot of reps, a lot of supersets, a lot of you will say like ah, you're overtraining and stuff. It's like impossible to overtrain yourself unless like you have a fucking gun pointed at your head and you go die for it. Now you might overtrain yourself but we are in peace here, you know, I'm in Montreal. I can eat the food that I want, I can sleep, I'm not like in a war zone or anything so we're just blessed to train. I think it's good to put the boundaries and stop limiting yourself with like, if I do that I will overtrain. Just push yourself. For sure there's phases, I have phases of like high volume, low volume, all that type of stuff because I want my body to recover but overtraining myself, I've never done it in eight years and I've trained like uh, a lot of workouts. I don't know how many workouts I've done. And like before that, I played hockey for 19 years. I was playing hockey nine times a week, and I was training two to three times. And I was going to school, and I was working as well, part-time job. Drink, think deeply as I sink. Finally, someplace I found peace in the dark of. I think it's the same uh, analogy, a lot of people like restrict themselves to do things because they say that it cannot be done or because they're too busy. Just start, you know, just put yourself in it, you know, just try it. You have everything that you've got and see how it goes. I have nothing to lose really. You lose everything when you're not trying, so. Right now we're doing a weighted dips. We'll do 15, 10, 8, 6 in superset with close grip push up on a medicine ball or you just take an inclination like that. So I'll do it over here because I don't know where the medicine ball is. But I'll do it here, close your push up, 10 reps, here we go. So I was like, do I take two plates or three plates? And then he said like, you're fucking marked it. So I said, okay, yeah, that's true. I'll go for three plates. Final superset of the workout, so we start with tricep and then we'll jump to bicep. The first tricep exercise is with an easy bar. It's kind of like doing the French press with the dumbbell, but we'll do it with a bar and over the head. And what you focus on, like the, the power tip, 
is to keep your arm as parallel as possible to each other. So the more you do that, the less stress you put on the tricep. So try to focus on having your arm parallel to each other and not open your arm like ah. that. Uh, that's one of the tips. A lot of people don't do it. Maybe you're not flexible enough yet, but just try as much as possible. And with time, you will uh, get that range of motion and get that good form. That's the first exercise. And then we'll jump to regular dumbbell curl for 25 reps. So each exercise is 25 reps, only one set. And you take a weight that you would use to do 12 reps only. So if you cannot keep going, because for sure you will not be able to keep going if you do 25 reps in one shot, it's just because you didn't take a weight that was heavy enough. Um, you just take a rest of like five seconds and then you repeat until you reach 25 reps. So that's it for arm. End of the workout, it's time to do abs. I'm doing three exercises in a row, repeat it four times. That's what I do at the end of every single workout. So yeah, it's ab every day. I did a post, I think two days ago, and I talk about the, the abs and how often you should train them and what you should do to have abs. And a lot of people say, ah, oh, you don't have to train them because you do deadlift, you do legs, your core is always working. This is fucking bullshit. People who say you don't have to train abs to have abs and have like good defined abs, they usually have average abs or don't have abs at all. Oh. So beep, beep, yeah, beep. fire shot, I don't <laughs> care. If you want to have abdominals, you need to work them. For a while, I stopped doing them. And what happened? I can't see what happened. I was less shredded, but now I started to do it. Let's again. see him putting you on the spot. Do not move. No lighting change. I don't, I don't right move. Now. We'll see. <laughs> I'm good. Oh. Okay, it's practice getting there. So doing 15 reps on the rope crunch, and then I'm doing hanging leg raises. And the way that we'll do it, instead of like just doing, doing it this way, which I usually do, I will bring my feet to the top and retain as much as possible. I'm gonna do 10 reps and then I'm going to do leg pulling. So, bah, bah. so here we go. I'm doing 15, 10, 20. 15, 10, 20. 15, 10, 20, four times. Three, two, Three, one, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bar tip number one. A lot of people, when they do have a rope crunch, what they do, so they do the crunch and what they do is they do that. Instead of like using their core to do this and crunch and excel when you do your abdominals and try to, a lot of people do their abs and they contract and they do that. What you want to do is like bring them in as much as possible to contract them. So you don't expand your core as well and you keep a, a tiny waist. So do that. This is the proper way to do it. But a lot of people do this, which you don't do anything, you just balance yourself with your own weight. You don't work your core. So if you do that, maybe you have too much weight. So you want to focus on going around and exhaling and contracting as much as possible. It's like when you do the plank, you don't want to just stand still. You want to bring your, your core inside. This has been a fun fact with Mark Fit. Your spine, take the position of your head. So if your head is straight, your spine will be straight. If your head do that, your spine is curving a bit. So when you do, or if you do that, you curve your lower back. That's so when, when you do like a front flip, what you do? Do you, your front flip, your head <laughs> fucking straight? No, you fucking do that to, to bend in. And with a back flip, it's the same thing. So when you do your leg pull in, I've done those work when you contract them. So if you do that, you will fit it in your lower back. And then, so if you focus on having your head here, you keep the contraction of your core and you keep your lower back rounded a bit. It's not crazy rounded, but it will help to not injure your lower back. And it's the same thing when you do, let's say, leg press on the bench, on, on the machine. When you do the leg press on the machine, it's the same thing. If you do that with your, with your head, you don't have the same contraction at all and you can feel it in your lower back. So keep the chin tucked. Well, when I'm on the bench, I want to keep my, my head just straight with my spine. I don't want to do any movement. Right. Yeah. It must be all that C4. One, two, three, four. Must be nice, it's eh? Cartilage. One thing that I carry always in my trunk is a protein tub. And the reason why is just because you never know when you will need it. Imagine like you're lost in the wood and you don't want to lose your gains, you know? I have to buy protein. Can you remind me? Yeah. 
But yeah, so I always have like one tub in the, in the back of my trunk. So now I'm gonna take some protein, two scoop of protein. So I have about 44 gram of protein. I'm gonna take uh, five gram of creatine and five gram of glutamine as well. This is the post workout plus 40 gram of maltodextrin and 30 gram of dextrose. So I have 70 gram of sugar right after my workout. Is that Spanish? No, it's, it's French, English, whatever. They all call it the same thing dextrose. No hables anglais. No hable anglais. Get the camera. Got the glutamine over there and a fucking messy trunk <laughs> with too many shoes in there. Chocolate. Mmm. Mmm. They got one like it's called uh, I think it's cinnamon roll. It's fucking good. I like the cookie though. Oh. Oh my god. Sounds nice. It's really nice. Two scoops. Because you were savage. The police, the fire truck is coming because there's too many gains. Too many guns over here. What? That's fucked up, Mark. <laughs> we don't make gun jokes. Yeah, we don't have guns in. in Canada, really. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Put it over here. Nice. <laughs> okay, guys, so something really funny happened. Not we funny. went to buy like a protein for Matt because he wanted me to give him like some advice which protein tub you should buy and all that stuff. So we go to a supplement store and the girl who works there know him because he, he used to work like in the gym or something. Yeah. Something like that. And uh, at I the end, like, so he pay like his protein powder and then she asked him do you train and then it, he like, just in it, general or like today she's today. like in general in general and today <laughs> she was like that yeah. oh my god yeah. poor guy and then I, we're just walking here and it's just like do, do i look at i train like, <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me <laughs> it's because he's not following the team fit workout guys right now guys we are on our way we're going actually <laughs> i'm going to my mom's house can't wait to see that it's gonna be a nice supper and we just arrived Wow, nice! <laughs> Maman fit! <laughs> Maman fit! On la bouche pleine de chips! <laughs> hey, c'est beau! Hein? C'est beau! Hein? Wow! Salut! Salut Tony! Grim oh, oh, Spider-Man! Où ton jardin? Comment ça va? And I'm back in my kitchen guys I want to tell you about my diet principle I think it's the perfect day to do it because as you have seen I had my meal number four as the first meal of the day so the order of the meal doesn't really matter but what I try to do as much as possible is to balance where I put my carbs during the day so I always put my carbs around my training so I will have my pre-workout meal which contain carbs and then I will have my post-workout shake which contain dextrose and maltodextrin and it's just like simple sugars that help me assimilate the protein and the gluten and creatine and just to uh, f fill up the body after that I broke everything down and then my meal right after that will be my post-workout meal which contain carbs as well um, and the other meal that I have carbs too is a snack which contain uh, either blueberries or strawberries and a little bit of fruits and nuts and protein so in today's example I just arrived from the gym had my post-workout shake now I'm having my post-workout meal which contain 100 gram of of, um, which contain 100 gram of basmati rice, which is my complex carbohydrate, and protein, and some veggies, and some fat as well. So that will be the meal that I'm taking right now. So as you can see in today's example, I was going to the gym first thing in the morning. So I had my carbs first, because I, I wanted it to have energy to push in the gym, and then my post-workout shake, and then my post-workout meal, and then my snack with some carbs, and then after that, there's no more carbs pretty much there's some there's no rice there's no oats there's there's just no complex carbohydrate there's some in like the veggies that i will have some in the meat but it's minimal per meal that's a principle that i always follow so i put my carbs around my training so now i have a question which meal would i take right now i just finished the gym had my post-workout meal and if you followed along my previous explanation you will know that this is the meal and yes, you were right, it is the meal with my carbs. I'm fortunate enough to be sponsored by a meal company, so they send me two meals per day for the entire week, so I don't have to prepare them. But if I don't use 
this service, I will basically just be at the office, I have a rice cooker, and I will just cook my rice while I work, and I don't really have my meat prepared, or just cook it at the office, and I have broccoli, like frozen broccoli, um, or I will take like a green juice or something to have my veggies as well. There we go, so I have 100 gram of rice and 120 gram of chicken. Everything's already prepared, I got my veggies, and that's another principle. Green vegetables, I don't really count them. There are some in the diet, but it's just a guideline, but like later tonight I will have like a salad with cat. I don't really count those calories because for me, veggies, it's essential. It's something that I that I eat every day that I started to enjoy more and more the older I get for some reason. So like cucumber, I eat one every single night, but it's not in the diet, you know? But cucumber, I mean, the calories of that, it's, it's nothing that will make you uh, less in shape or anything. Enjoy all the veggies that you, you want. Um, it's good for you and I focus mainly on green vegetables. So yeah, in this part of the video, it's kind of boring because I'll just put that in the microwave, but in the next meal, I will show you something pretty awesome and Captain will make it for you. Okay guys, so I've just uh, been working for a little while now. It's time to have my snack, which contain more fruits and like carbs. So this is the final meal, which I have carbs and will be a protein shake. So I'll have 30 grams of protein. Then I'll have some strawberries or blueberries usually. Then I'll have a uh, rice cake, four rice cake. But because Kat is so nice to make a good snack right after, I will skip the rice cake for something else right after, which will be the same number of carbs. After that, I have some almond butter and half of banana. So that's the snack number two. Here we go. Lions roaring in the so there we go guys, this is meal number two, in order meal number four, whatever, it's so good. Mm. So now we're making an avocado toast because it's like Mark's special request, but we make it extra protein for him. So basically we're having a toasting right now, so what you want to do with that toast is add it on the plate. Really simple. After that. You want to have that little egg that you cook. Mark doesn't like poached eggs, so that's why we do a regular egg. We see some some shadows and stuff, but like, I don't really care. About it. It's fine. It's gonna be quick cut, you know. Um, so yeah, there we go. So basically, instead of having the rice cake, I decided to have an avocado toast because the number of carbs is the same in this bread. It's an organic bread um, made of sesame and a bunch of other stuff. But yeah, basically, it's the same thing as the rice cake in terms of carbohydrate. Um, so yeah, no refined sugar no additional sugar in it or or additive so that's pretty much it let's smash it all that said it's still time to eat so in this meal we do a huge salad and it's gonna be cucumber avocado about 20 grams of avocado uh, some uh, red peppers some yellow peppers and uh, yeah, salad and some good source of protein. So we'll have chicken for this meal. Well, this is all the veggies cut out. So that's what we got for supper. It's 118 gram of chicken. It's like I tried 120 that I needed, but like for two gram, whatever. We got some avocado over here, uh, 20 gram over there. We got the red pepper, the cucumber. We got yellow pepper over here. And we got some fine herbs over there. So basil and parsley. We'll put everything in this bowl and eat that shit. Eat it! Little lion. <laughs> so if you see my diet is quite simple. Uh, it's not super complicated and I allow myself to switch things up as long as it's not, um, let's say I, I would never trade like oats for like a Pop-Tart or that type of food. 
try to minimize the processed food for sure if i have like a cheat meal depending on when and all my condition is i might just go with processed food and just enjoy like anything that i want those type of meal are really rare in in a year i would say it probably happened 10 times or 12 times and the rest is just like when i have a cheat meal it's just more carbs i will have like some sushis and stuff maybe some ice cream but that will be it that's what i do most of the time when i have a cheat meal other than that in terms of caffeine intake because i think there's a lot of you guys who will ask yourself the question how much caffeine do i take like in a day so usually i will maintain below 400 milligram of caffeine sometimes i'll be 500 milligram but i always try to be at 400 milligrams so usually it will look like having a coffee a pre-workout another coffee or tea or something like that so like two coffee a day and one pre-workout which end up to be around 350 to 400 milligram of caffeine that's pretty much it and if i have like energy drink let's say i have like the new uh, c4 carbonated it's like 200 milligram of caffeine so i might have that as a pre-workout if i decide to have like a c4 carbonated like in the morning and then go to the gym and have a pre-workout then that will be the two source so i'll try to have below 400 milligram of caffeine i'll try to minimize the caffeine that i have before going to sleep about three hours i would say three to four hours for me that works well but but you might be different that's the thing i want you to take away from this diet and like the number of protein that i get in carbs and fat it's the formula that you will have to find for yourself that work for me it worked to stay lean to be in shape to feel empowered to have the energy the entire day i focus on a lot of fat between 100 and 130 gram of fat a day and then 260 to 280 gram of protein uh, sometime i will have more carbs but i feel like over the years more protein and fat works really really well for me carbs i just leave the rest in them so yeah so that was the little in between the last meal right now we're going to the theater we'll go see the new avenger i hope it's gonna be good usually i don't like to go to sleep around midnight i like to be in bed around like 10 30 11 maximum but we're doing an exception it's the weekend <laughs> whatever i'm going to uh, see avenger i'll let you know how it is and i will have the final meal with you i will keep the surprise to keep the vlog alive so there you have it this is my full day of eating the message i want to leave in this video is don't complicate things too much don't try to find a perfect formula and everything just stay consistent on something figure it out if it works for you and then just adapt one of the things that is super useful is to wait all your food so you know exactly what you put in your body and then you can adjust because a lot of you guys think that it's chicken breast is like that many gram and all that type of stuff but if you start waiting everything then you will know exactly what you get and then you can adjust faster then after that after a while it's been eight years that you do that you know exactly the portion that you will get and you can maybe stop waiting your food but before that until you figure out everything that works for you i think it's the, the, the right way to go about it and just to take notes how you your body react to this diet um, how do you have more energy in the gym how do you sleep better and all that type of stuff and then just create your own formula for your life and for yourself first link in the description of the video is where you can download the diet it's completely free I just download my personal diet and then you can try it out but adjust the quantity for yourself. Let's go wait, 10, for some sort of invitation.